Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 18th of June. So we have a potential short on Google here, G-O-O-G-L. This is the four hour time frame. As you can see, we are bearish bias since we have had um, the earnings news. We have just tumbled down here. I think we're going to actually test a thousand dollars here. So let's have a look. This is our earlier wave indicator sweep for Think or Swim platform. It's also available for MT4, TradeStation, Ninja Trader, multi charts, and very soon trading views. So uh, we've got a couple of tools on here to help us understand the direction of this uh, trend. So the first thing on our multiple time frame dot cloud, this is part of our black box breakout indicator, but it just shows us now. On these multiple time frames, we're, we're basically all just about all red, so we have got this bearish bias. Now, part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite is our false breakout stochastic. We've got two yellow bars here in the oversold zone, denoting a strong bearish trend. Now, on this trend, we've had a one, two, three, four just recently. Elliott Wave one, two, three, four. It's this wave four that we're interested in right now. This pullback. So. If this holds, we could have a really great short. So measuring the performance in this wave four is important in our strategy with our indicator suite. So the first thing we look at is that the wave four has found some resistance on this short um, in our red zone right now, mainly the amber zone. The red zone represents a 75% probability it's gonna go on and make that new wave five low Intra automated target zone here in blue. Now this also coincides with the major support level around about the thousand dollar mark as well. So looking pretty good. Now the performance of the wave four is also measured on our earlier wave oscillator. That's between 90 and 140 percent. This pullback right now, so that's good. We also have the stochastic has pulled back against this false breakout bar and crossed over in the overbought zone. So it's like an elastic band, it wants to return to that main bearish trend. So entry wise, reasonably conservative here. I wanna make sure it's back on its way down to test these new lows and test $1,000. So stop loss just above the way for 1,104.45. And then the entries below this pivot point here, this doji, this is the first attempt to move down and it failed. Now we've pulled back up again, our entry would be below this pivot and our normal entry, which is the 6-4 moving average low, this red moving average here. So quite a conservative entry, but still gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.8 into the middle of that target zone around about $1,000. So decent risk to reward, sensible entry, meets all the criteria for our fifth wave move. Uh, and so a short on Google on the four hour time frame is the um, stocks trading video of today for the 18th of June. It may not trigger today. As long as these rules are not broken, it's a good order. So that's it today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.